Okay, so next up, we're gonna do a scrambled egg. Scrambled eggs really should be a no-brainer. Basically, we're gonna take our eggs, we're gonna crack it, we're gonna give it a really good mix. Whisk. Um, and that's a very, very important thing. I like to do it with a fork or a whisk because you really wanna try to incorporate your egg yolks and your whites. You don't wanna have like little white, you know, clumps in the middle. Um, you can do it straight up. Some people like it without seasoning. I'm like a big layer your flavor type of a gal. So I love to add in the basics, salt and pepper. You wanna get really, really, really funky. You can add in a little bit of garlic salt, OMG. It takes it to another level. You can do sauteed onions, mushrooms, jalapenos, yum, tomatoes. Um, I mean, you name it, spinach. Kale, you, you can make your omelet into something so incredible. And then if you want, you can top it off with a little bit of fresh cheese or shredded cheese. And it just totally- What's your preference? What are you doing here? I personally happen to believe, I'm like a real, anyone who knows me well knows, I like mushrooms any which way. So I'm like a real onions Mushroom. and mushrooms type of a gal. So Perfect, I me and you were in the same boat. So excited! Well, I think we're eating. gonna let's get eating. I am so excited about it. So you know what? We're gonna give you the honors. Let's start cracking the eggs. Um, there's one of two ways that you can do it: either by knocking it on the That's counter, what I was gonna do. or you can use a spoon or a fork or a knife to knock it. So go for it. I think we're gonna do a three egg omelet. Really? Let's go for it. Yeah. Let's do three eggs. We're gonna share it then. Yeah. Okay, so now let's give it a good mix. And here comes the really important part, okay? And you might even want to like go Put on my arm in it. No, you're great. Um, just a little tip. You might want to do almost like an up and down motion because that I think will incorporate it a little bit quicker. Wow. Go for okay. that. Yes, there you go. I'm so worried it's going to come out She's of She's a quicker picker-upper. Okay, we're gonna add now, in our... We're gonna add in just a drop of salt, and we'll add in a little bit of pepper. There you go. So what we're gonna do is, and this is extremely important, we're going to actually preheat our pan. That is tip number one that is so important. When you actually preheat it... Nice and hot. Okay. Nice and hot? Yeah. That quick? Yeah, Okay. Put your hand here. Let me feel. Okay, I just think the heat is actually coming off the side. I would love to get the pan a little bit hot okay. before we hit it with the oil. Gotcha. Okay, if you hit it with the oil too quickly, what happens is the oil begins to burn. Same thing with if you decide that you want to do your eggs with butter. Let me tell you something. Butter, everything is better with butter. The reason why we're not going to do it now is because butter does burn pretty quickly. Brown butter is so sweet and delicious, but maybe we'll do that another time. I think it's hot enough, so you're feeling how the heat is rising from the center now, yeah. not the sides? Go for it. We're gonna right. spray it really nicely. One around or? Just give it a good spray. Here we go. Okay, okay, spray everybody. And drop it in. Here we go. Just, just. Yeah. Let it go. There you go. Excellent. Okay. Now, Three when you have in. a nonstick pan, the best thing for you to use is going to be wood, either wood or silicone. And you actually really want to start mixing it right away. Otherwise, you're going to end up with an omelet. And we don't want an omelet. I mean, okay? maybe some people At do. At this point, I'm actually going to hit it with just a little bit because we discussed layering the flavor. So we put a little bit of the salt and pepper. Oh, I am ready to pour. eat. See, when it stops to look that wet, we're good. Okay, okay? we need a plate. So I think we need a plate. I'm gonna give you a beautiful plate. Check it out. All right. I need a fork, obviously. Oh, these look good. Not only do they look good, they smell good. Give a whiff. Give a whiff. I'm gonna give it a taste. How about a whiff? Okay, of the go for it. It's actually really good. What is that? I'm <laughs> I told you. What's this? That was garlic salt with a twist, which is the classic garlic salt with. Usually a twist will be a twist of something that's citrus. Come on, grab your fork. So, yes. People Are gotta know you eat too. Okay. Come on, that's good. That's great. I tasted the garlic salt. That's it's great. Good. Oh, you are awesome. I like that. 
I seriously can't believe I made this. Like, my mother's now gonna ask me to cook. Hello? So like, ask her. She could do it. This, You're doing this awesome. Is unbelievable. I can't stop. And who likes that? I guess I'm me now. I guess me that, now. That's what this is about. We're taking the ordinary and turning it into extraordinary. 